Ride 420 presents a tutorial for using Twixter in Adobe After Effects CS6. First you want to open up the After Effects CS6 program. Wait for the program to load up, this may take some time. Now the program has loaded up, you want to choose the video you would like to use, the higher the frame rate, the better it will turn out. I will use this clip, yo. Now you want to right click and then choose the option, new come from selection. Make sure you enable frame blending. And then double click this box. Now you want to right click this blue thing and then you want to go to time then enable time remapping yo. Now you want to head on over to the effects tab and then go on vision plugins and then select Twixter and you will also have to download this first if you do not have it yo. And now you want to input your video's frame rate here, so for mine it's 59.94. Now you want to go into Effect, Twixter, and then Output Control Yo. Go to the start of your video, and then press this time watch thingy. Click a few times to make sure your mouse is working. Then you want to go to where you want the slow motion to start. Next thing you need to do is to add a keyframe. Then you want to go forward a frame by clicking this button. Now set the speed you want to use, the lower the number, the slower it will be. I am using 20 for now, then I will slow it down more at key points in the clip. Now you want to go forwards in your clip, to the next point, where you want to change the speed. Click a few times to make sure your mouse is working. Once again, you need to add a keyframe before you change the speed and you also want to go forward a frame. Now you want to change the speed, I am going to use 6 as I want this part of the clip to be very slow. Click a few times to make sure your mouse is working. Next thing you need to do is to add a keyframe. Then you want to go forward a frame by clicking this button. Now you want to set the speed back up to 20, yuck. Oh no, if you run out of space, you want to go to your composition settings, then change the duration. I will just add another 10 seconds to make sure. Click here to change the length of your composition. Now press OK, yo. Now you want to drag the clip longer, but because it won't let me, using the screen recorder, I will skip ahead this step. Once you have done that, you need to scroll back down to your output control and continue. I am going to have two super slow parts in this, so I will just repeat the process of the first one, this is optional. Find where you want to change the speed, and then add another keyframe. Then you want to go forward a frame by clicking this button. Now you want to change the speed, I am going to use 6, as I want this part of the clip to be very slow.
add another keyframe, and once again go forward a frame, then change the speed back to 20, or whatever speed you want. It is best to play around with it and find out what is best for your clip. To make it so it, gradually, goes back to normal speed you need to go forward about 1 second, then without adding a keyframe, change the speed back to 100. As you can see, the speed is going back up to 100, this helps the slow motion appear smoother. You also need to play around with this to suit your own clip. You are now almost done. You want to head on over to the Composition tab, and then select Add to Render Queue. I will now let Betty talk you through the best settings. Click on Lossless, and then click on Format. Now you want to choose QuickTime. Then, Format Options, and then select Photo JPEG, if not already selected. Click OK. Click OK. Output to wherever you want the file to go to. I will select Desktop, because YOLO. Rename your clip if you want to, then click Save. Now you are ready to render. You want to press Caps Lock on your keyboard so it will render faster. This will stop it slowing down to give you a preview. I will now skip this boring part. Once rendered, you are done. Feel free to leave this video a like if it helped you and a comment if you have any questions. Thank you and subscribe for more tutorials. Oh my god, yo oh 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 oh.